Feast your eyes on this. What you see here is an image printed on a copper clad. And guess what? It glows in the dark. In this video, we'll delve into its internal structure and understand how it works. But before we begin, let's take a closer look at the light sources we'll be using. Here, we have an LED, and over here, we have good old sunlight. Alright folks, let's dive right in and explore the layer-by-layer -layer structure of this amazing device. As you can see, the copper layer plays a crucial role in blocking the light rays. The phenolic sheet beneath it acts as both a substrate for the copper layer and an orange light filter. We'll be using orange LEDs as our light source, but here's the interesting part. They're facing backward. To power the LEDs, we'll be using button cells. And take a look at these sidewalls made from flexible glue. They allow us to press an on-off switch conveniently. Now on the back side, we have another copper clad with an aluminum sheet. The aluminum sheet reflects the light rays back towards the copper layer. Remember, the copper layer blocks the light, while the areas without copper allow it to pass through, creating the glowing image on the PCB. This unique structure ensures that the light spreads uniformly, without any intense spots. As you saw, we'll be printing this iconic image of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj on the PCB. But before we get started, there are a few important things to keep in mind. Firstly, use any image editing software to convert your images to black and white. And here's the crucial part. The image must be printed using a laser printer. An inkjet printer simply won't work for this project. Once you have your image printed on glossy paper using a laser printer, it's time to cut it out. Oh, and remember, the image will be mirrored while printing, so don't forget to enable the mirror option in the print window. Now, let's clean the copper clad using sanitizer. It's important to ensure it's free from any contaminants before we proceed. Next, we'll be pressing the image onto the copper clad using an electric iron. Remember to maintain a medium temperature, as high temperatures can cause the copper layer to expand and separate from its substrate. After about 15 minutes of pressing, the paper will be stuck to the copper clad. Now we need to remove the paper. To do that, we'll soak it in water for about 10 minutes. Once the paper is separated, the color will remain stuck on the copper layer. This color layer acts as a mask for the etching process which is our next step. To dissolve the unmasked copper layer, we'll be using ferric chloride as an etchant. This process takes about 20 to 30 minutes, during which the unmasked copper will dissolve, while the masked copper remains intact. After the etching process, it's important to thoroughly wash the copper clad, as ferric chloride is a corrosive chemical. Safety first, folks. Now we need to remove the color from the copper layer. For that, we'll use a wire scrubber. But here's the catch. The copper layer immediately reacts with atmospheric oxygen and turns into green-colored copper oxide. To prevent that, we'll coat it with transparent nail polish. Great, we're halfway there. Now let's cut off the excess copper clad, so we have a clean and refined shape for our device. Now it's time to think about how we can install the light source. We want the glowing image to shine regardless of the availability of sunlight. Here's the electronic circuit we'll be using. Once we solder everything together, our device will look like this. But we also need a backside light reflecting structure. For that, we'll take another copper clad and attach an aluminum sheet to it using a glue gun. Notice the sag in the middle of the aluminum sheet? That's intentional. It helps reflect the light rays in random directions, preventing any intense light spots. Now, let's stick both copper clads together, ensuring there's a gap between them.
We'll remove any excess glue using a paper cutter and file. Voila! Our device is finally ready for testing. I'm going to turn off the lights in my room and press the push button at the corner of our device. And there it is, the glowing image with uniform light density over the full area. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've found it informative and inspiring. Stay tuned for more exciting projects in the future. Until then, take care and keep exploring.